at it. Right? Outside. American Whiskey Experience. How's it going? Pete, James, outside. Uh, outside. Over the overhang. We were going to go outside on the by the fire pit. Or, it's not cooperating. But the weather uh, looks like we got a little rain and thunderstorms. Yeah. But hey, we're still going to drink whiskey. We're yeah. going to enjoy it. So you have... A crazy bottle here. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Right, this right. is cool. So this is uh, Millman Green. Yep. And it is Underbridge Volume 1, straight bourbon whiskey. Um, it is a 118.3 proof. 118. Uh, wow. It, it, does, it doesn't have a specific age statement because it's a blend of whiskeys. Okay. So it's 38 barrels were right. used That's to Fort create heavy. Volume 1. Well, yep. Fort Heavy. That's okay. So cost of this was about 80 bucks that they spent on yep. it. Um, it was one I hadn't seen, and I ran into it. Where'd you uh, find it? I was in Jersey, actually. Jersey. Yeah. Driving through Jersey, and I was like, stop at the store. I was like, I'm gonna grab that. Sorry, Jersey people. I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so, um, so the yeah. breakdown on bottles here uh -huh. is pretty elaborate. So I'm gonna go through this because I can't remember this. So yeah, I have it written down here, or I have it on the back. Right, so, so it is. All right. So it is. Uh, let's see where is it. So it's pretty cool. Before you start, yeah. there's amounts, there's age statement, and then the cask that it was in. So that's right. that's pretty cool. That's the written right. on the back so, there. So you got six casks that is 14 year old yep. Tennessee bourbon whiskey. Correct. Eight casks yep. that are six year old Tennessee bourbon whiskey. Boom. Four casks, four year old Tennessee bourbon whiskey. Yep. Five casks, four year old Kentucky bourbon whiskey. Correct. Two casks, three and a half year old Texas bourbon whiskey with malted rye. Ooh. And then 13 casks, a two and three quarter year Kentucky bourbon with malted rye. That's wow. Those two at the end. So that's kind different. of a. Big collaboration of, you know. So we're oh, talking one, two, so 30, three, four, 36. five, six. Six different. Three different kind of blends. Different blends. Yeah. Age from as old as 14 years down to two, uh, two and three, quarter. three quarters. Right. Wow. So it's a limited edition. Volume yeah. One. Um, on this one, it is a uh, kind of a literary theme blend of whiskeys. Huh. Uh, the CEO of Milman Green, Heather Green. Yep. Along with, uh, with Noah Rothbaum. <laughs> no. If I didn't pronounce it wrong. Sorry, Sorry no. um, and David Wandrich, uh, authors of Oxford, Companion to Spirits and Cocktails, and Flaviar, uh, resident liquor expert. So they are uh, serious. Yeah, so it's, they got together and tasted a bunch of different things and came up with this blend. And uh, do we, do you neat. know? I know you did a lot of research on. Do you know what is theirs and what was sourced? I I don't. Um, I believe that. I would think um, the bottom half would be sourced from. Them. Well, I know some of it is Bardstown because yeah. I know Marlene Holmes was the master distiller. Over there, uh, they do make some of their own whiskey yep. in, in Texas, and they do use the same mash bill and, okay. and have that um, aging in Barstow. So I know it's a collaboration of that, but I'm not sure uh, what's what. Yeah. Uh, but I, I would, if I, if I was had a guess, I would definitely say that Texas bourbon whiskey and then the Kentucky bourbon whiskey, the last two, the three yeah. and a half, the two thirds, is, is probably theirs. I would think so. And, and maybe even maybe that. Four year, I think anything over that fourteen and six years probably. Well, those are all Tennessee. Those, those yeah. are, who knows? Yeah. So I mean, it's, it's, we don't it's, know. Well, that's it. It's definitely sourced. Those the yeah. other two might be their their product. I, I would and, think and, it is. And their, I think it is from their distillery. So, Pretty cool. I, we could so, be wrong, but hey, whatever. So it's been open for a little while, a couple of months probably. Yeah, February. Um, so I poured it. It was very unique when I poured it. Yeah. Initially, it got actually well, half the bottle's gone. So, uh -huh. um, you know, I I liked it, but it was very complex. Yeah. So I'm hoping it opened up a little bit and lets you kind of yeah, and I think figure out what uh, what's what here. A month or so ago, you brought this over. We had, and I, we I, I took a very little sip of yeah. it. It was at the end of the night after doing some reviews, and we did like three or four, and I took a very little sip, and I was like, yeah. God, that can't, this yeah. is way too much to talk about. So yeah, let's, let's get this in the bottle and review it. Wow. spin a uh oh there you go. Outside spinning. So, so, so now you're separating the years. Uh, well, like it, rings on the tree. See, you beat me to it. So that's because <laughs> there's so the six different blends. Uh, I gotta spin it six different ways. Oh, so that's one way. That's oh. two ways. Okay. That's three. Wow. That's four. That's skill, ladies and gentlemen. That's skill. Uh, I need two more. There you go. Right on your head. Five. The other way. And there you go. Six. <laughs> Amen. Well, <laughs> there you go. Cheers. Try that at home, folks. Let's let's have a little smell here. Yeah. And a little sip. Ooh, not that they can notice, but there's some really dark clouds out there. There is. Yeah. Cool. Ominous. Wow, that is a great smell. It is. Um. Initially, I'm getting some sweet. Yeah, there's sweetness there, 100%. Um. Liquid sugar. Um. Like liquid syrup sugar, but there's also like a cherry sweetness to it. And I was gonna say like that. Um, 
kind of like that uh, the inside of those chocolate covered cherries. Yeah. Um, I'm but, getting like a but, strawberry rhubarb. <laughs> but there's all. Oh, see, there's also some like for me. I, I think I'm getting like uh, like peach cobble. Like, okay. Like, uh, that that baked with the peach with the sweet. Peach. Yeah. I can see peach tea. It's got like, a little fruit forward on the nose. Yeah, there's definitely. That's why I said like, I got like a strawberry cobbler or a strawberry yeah, bar. Yeah. Okay. Um, you're getting peach. peach. I can understand the peachness. Peach with like that, you know, like the like a the, white peach. You know, like the cake part of the cobbler. Yeah. Or like that, um, you know. Play like that. Man, now you said peach and, and, and fruit, almost like a sangria type, like a white okay. sangria okay. smell to it. Yeah, definitely fruit forward. But I do get kind of on the back end of that inhale, I kind of get some of the, the, malted, the malted rye. I think it brings a little bit of that spice, um, a little bit of that unique scent sometimes you get from rye. Um, a little bit different. Like I really kind of just didn't know. <clears throat> Man, you could just sniff on this for a while. Yeah, right? There's a lot there. You know, a little bit of a little touch of of, of, of aged oak, dry oak. Um, yeah, a lot. Pretty inviting. Makes me want to take a sip. Get a little of that <clears throat> bubble gum. Are you? Yeah, that big leaf chew powder bubble gum. Confectioner sugar. On yeah. That. Yep. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, what else? Uh, let's sit back and have a sip. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Yes, there's, there's some oak there too as well. You mentioned that already. Mm. Wow. A little drier than I thought it would be. That's a lot of flavor though. Yeah. But initially I thought it was a little dry. Just on the beginning, but then it kind of mellows. It, it, dry as it, in like, um, like heat dry or like dry as in not oily? Not oily at first. Okay. But it's not that dry, that, it's not that dry oak, you know? It's not that old dry oak taste, well, the, it's just uh, it's not the, oily. See, for me on the back end, I'm getting a lot of that dry oak. Initially, I'm getting a little bit of buttery. I get it in the beginning. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Initially, I'm getting, to me, it's a little bit buttery on the tongue when it first gets, it gets in, and then a little bit of sweet. It's sweet. But definitely, right away, that heat, that oak, comes into play for me. Oh, it's it's there's heat there, and when I said sweet, I don't mean like candy sweet or like uh, finished in like a rum sweetness. It's it's just a, it's just a nice. It's corn sweet for me. Yeah, it's corn sweet. Um, there's some heat to this. A mid palate, I can I kind of am getting some of the um, some of the fruit yep. that I that I got on the nose. <clears throat> I think mid palate, um, that cherry syrup that <clears throat> um, even remember um. Uh, anybody that watched remembers that. Remember, remember that um, that dip for dip top cones, the cherry the red shell. Cherry shell. Cherry shell. That's what you get there. Yeah, I can see that. I like that mid palate, um, and a little bit of fruitiness mid palate. Um, the spice kicks in towards the end. Um, the dry oak, the a little bit of that, that aged oak, kind of fills in all around my my tongue. Um. There is a little bit of a, a nut to this. Um, what are the, during the holiday seasons, during Christmas, we always get the mixed nuts. Yeah. Things. What's the little one, little ones called? Those little chestnuts, little, little hazelnuts. The hazelnuts. Yeah. Is it? No. It's the little not. round, little tiny round ones. They're dark with little white, almost like light on top. Yeah, but it doesn't have a hazelnut taste. Maybe I'm thinking the wrong nut. Like the can? I could see that. Earthiness. On the back end. Yeah. Earthiness, yeah. Some old Yeah, maybe stage. maybe it's a pecan. I'm trying to think. It's not a hazelnut. Because those are a little oily, too, and stuff. Mm. There's I a little nuttiness there. I can there. see pecan. Maybe it's pecan. Pecan. Uh, pecan depends pecan. on what part right. of the state you're from. Uh, th this is really cool. A lot of complexity here. This is um, something that's going to change over time, too, a little bit, as the air gets to it a little bit, and your I, palate change a little I bit. I think it... Um, I'm sure if we drank this, like, a week from now, I, we'll, we'll come up with something. I better. think it definitely opened up since, since yeah. opened it. I think I'm able to you, kind you, of pick you out... You poured a good amount of it. Yeah, I was thirsty every once yeah, in a while, you know. Good for you. Uh -huh. But I, I think I'm able to pick up a lot more flavors here than I initially was on the first crack. Um, the layering and the complexity to me is... is 
was great. Um, you know, it's it's to throw in that malted rye at the end. Those two yeah. kind of just. Well, I wonder what it'd be like if it was if they didn't have the malted rye because I, I think that changes the whole. Well, I think well, I, even thing. some of the oh. some of the age, some of the old oaks, and that yeah. it's almost like um, like Baker's Truffle too. I get some of that like um, mm. that rich earthy. I mean, that's from the earthiness being on camera. Yeah. Like the earthiness I'm getting is like eating like a a root type of vegetable where you get that 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 earthy dirt sense to it. Like mushrooms. Uh mushrooms, beets, mushrooms, beets. something like that. You know, we get that real earthy. I'm getting a really strong earthiness. I, and and some some whiskeys I like that. Some I like that. some I don't. This one like because that. it's so complex, it, it actually works with it really well. For me, like I, that, I like it. That sensation I think is me towards like mid to late palate yeah. into the finish. It's uh, yo, it's it's at the end. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, it drinks at one hundred eighteen proof too. I think. I mean, not not it's not overly hot from top to you know from from nose palate. Yeah, I, to finish, but there there's heat there. Yeah, and I think it definitely drinks. It, it, the long finish too, I think it lingers. Um, I think that heat that spice resonates on the sides of my tongue. Definitely on the finish. Um, nice color too. Now it's almost gone. Whew. What happened? Jesus Christ! We didn't even talk about color. There, oh, colorful. It is colorful. It is whiskey color. Man, this is really complex. If and like, whiskey had a rainbow, this would be the color. The whiskey rainbow. The whiskey I, rainbow. I like it. Um, yeah, I, I like the complexity. I like the layers. I like. Um, this is something I could sip on for a long time too. I mean, obviously not what was in my glass, not four more than that, but you know what I mean? Dark chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, I was like that bit. That, dark chocolate. The, the, the earthiness yeah, is like. Yeah, that's, that's coffee, it. Coffee, coffee grounds. Yeah. Uh, dark chocolate. Yeah. Like that oakiness is all kind of that whole blend there. You know? There's some dark chocolate there for me now, for sure. Like, like really good dark chocolate. Mm. Um, mm. Very good. This is pretty good. Cool. I like I'm glad you brought this over. Yeah, I, w I definitely wanted to do again, this. You know, um, those. Wow. Yeah, so again, that mash bill, it's, it's crazy. crazy. Uh, a 14-year Tennessee it's bourbon crazy. whiskey, a 6-year Tennessee bourbon, a 4-year Tennessee bourbon whiskey, a 4-year uh, Kentucky bourbon whiskey, and then a 3-and-a-half Texas bourbon whiskey with malted rye. So that's where we start going so, a little crazy. Right. And a two and two and a quarter and uh, Kentucky bourbon whiskey malted rye. This interesting. Thirty eight barrels. Thirty eight barrels were made. Yeah, we're part of this. No, thirty eight barrels were. Oh, yeah. total. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, thirty eight barrels. Thirty eight barrels were used. So this is volume this. one. So they plan on doing this again. Wow. Which is kind of neat. So they plan on doing it again. I wonder what the mash bill is going to be at that point. If they're going to add or they're going to keep at six. I think they made six plans. is a lot, Teddy. To, to blend it and, Listen, and to we'll, make it taste we'll, good. Well, I mean, that's tough. Let's not forget they're they're blenders as well. Yeah. So they do a, I think they do a fantastic job. I really enjoyed we be um, the triple cask we had. Yeah. I yeah. love I love that. I thought you know everything that we've had yeah. from them has been really good. Yeah. And uh, Those couples, even even that store pick that I had that was a lower proof like, and you found the one that was a really high proof. Yeah. Same barrel. Same barrel. But a higher proof. Higher proof. I think it was yeah. one barrel off. It was, That's what it was. It was one barrel different. One barrel different. And higher proof. And higher proof. And and both of them were great. Yours was like a low ninety. Oh, mine was, was like yeah. one ten. I think mine was actually eighty six. Oh, you know you're right. It yeah. was, yours was eighty. Yeah. In the eighties, and mine was in the, in the and yours one, were, yeah. 10, 112, yep. something like that. But but two very complex, very different. Yeah, and they both yeah. were good. It's good. Different ways. Wow. This is good. Uh, I would Ooh. buy this. What, what, what was the price point on that? Eight, eighty. Eighty bucks. Okay. So maybe less now. No, well, I still. Yes, I have to see that. Well, I get a lot. That peach is back. That peach and fruit are still hanging out in the nose. Well, I, I can see peach tea or, or like a raspberry tea. There's definitely a fruit flavor. In the nose, there's a lot of the fruit. Nose. In the there is. Uh, I don't think you, if, if someone said it's peach, if someone said it was raspberry, if someone said it was strawberry, it's all there in a little bit. But yeah. I can see it being like one of those Snapple iced teas where it's, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. Those flavored ones. Um, so there's a little tea in there as well. Little green tea. Yeah. This is awesome. I like it. Really good. At one eighteen, you, you, you pour, you know, probably a good three or four ounces, and then you know you go to something else. It's complex. It um, is. That's the it only is. thing. 
for somebody. Wow. Yeah, no, I, I like it. I'm glad I bought it. I'm glad we shared it. Um, if you had it, if you see it out, uh, to me, it's, it's a Yeah, if you're in Jersey. Listen, yeah, it's here to you. Go to it's, it's here to I think. It's here. Yeah, it's I haven't seen it. Well, maybe. I was passing through and I saw a store. And I was yeah. Back. You never know. That's the best way to do it. Right? So, uh, yeah. Bill McGreen, Underbridge, Volume 1. Yeah. Um, check it out. Can't wait for Volume 2. Right? I want to see what that's all about. I know, right? So, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, like, subscribe, follow. Yeah. Uh, appreciate your support. Um, enjoy your whiskey and especially enjoy with friends. Yeah, just drink it neat, though. Don't put any ice in it. You, could, you know, if you like it that way, don't wreck the path, though. Wouldn't put ice in that. I wouldn't put ice in that. No. Too good. Too good. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate Great it. Great experience. Pete and James, appreciate it. Thanks. Stay out of the rain. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's clear enough, finally. Right, I know.